Jain Devayvan, this is Ravi Saran and the founder and mentor of the Wing Leader SSP classes. I am ex-IMA 131 regular course and ex-AFA 192 pilot course. Because of a medical reason, I had to discontinue my services in the Defence Forces. Coming out from the academy from the last 8 months, I have been training SSP aspirants. Now, many of you must be following me on my Facebook page, Wing Leader by Ravi Saran. If you are not visited the page, please go and visit the page. You will find articles there which will be useful for you. This is my first video in the video tutorial series. The reason I started this video tutorial series is many aspirants used to request me. They wanted to attend the classes, but because of many constraints, they were not able to do so. So I thought I should start up with this thing so that I can help as many candidates as possible. In this very first video, I'll simply come to the point. I'll discuss the two aspects of SSB training. The most frequently asked question is, which candidates ask me is sir whether we should go for a coaching or not bando ko lagta hai bachcho ko lagta hai parents ko lagta hai ki coaching jaane se acha fayda bhi hota hai aur nuksan bhi hota hai so simply i'll just clarify your doubt be it ssb be it any other exam be it any other field let it be sports let it be any other field coaching is always required always required in the sense there are out of 100 people there are only 1% people who will excel or who will successful without any formal guidance but I'm not concerned about those. I'm concerned about the rest 99% of the people. So I would say practice makes a man perfect. Definitely true. But more true than this is perfect practice makes a man perfect. So let it be SSB. If you want to go for coaching, absolutely fine. But just make sure that you attend the right class. I not say come to me or come, come join me or come my, to my workshop. Wherever you go, make sure that the person who is training you is training you in the right direction. All right. So free yourself of this myth and misconception and inhibition that training of SSB is a degree or not. It is definitely going to help you. Now, coming to the next most frequently asked question, which is how we should prepare for SSB. What should be the ideal approach to prepare for SSB? All right. So every one of us knows that SSB is a psychological process. It is a scientific process. I am a great admirer of this process. It is one of the best selection processes in the world. It is based on checking your 15 officer like qualities. You will be assessed for 15 officer like qualities. People who are yet to go for SSB, who have just thought of going for SSB, go and serve the net. You will find out what are the 15 officer like qualities. I will not waste time on telling you what are the 15 officer like qualities. Second thing, after knowing the first, the 15 officer like qualities, the second thing is you should be able to understand the meaning of those 15 officer like qualities. For example, initiative. Initiative is a factor 3 key officer like quality. Now, initiative in I would say civil terms or I would say in corporate terms is different as compared to initiative in military. If you talk about leadership, a corporate leader is different than a military leader. So you should be aware of this fact, this differentiation that these qualities are very common. field You will be able to see that. But what is required for getting recommended is you should have that particular quality suiting with the SSB wala or the military wala framework and that is where most of the people get confused. They say that I have been a class leader for the last 7 years right from my 5th class to 12th class I was the class leader. Coming to the college I was the class representative. Now I am working in an IT firm and I am a manager, I am a team leader, there I am handling, I have all the leadership qualities but still I'm not able to get recommended. So keep this thing in mind. These two qualities in two different fields is completely different. So you should know the difference. So the first step is, first of all, knowing the OLQs, then understanding the meaning of those OLQs. Now, the third step is analyzing, which I would say the first two steps count for only 20%. The rest 20% is analyzing the OLQs. Analyzing the OLQs means you should be aware what are the qualities that you have and in what amount that you have. So I would say I always uh, advise my students, I always tell them to do a lifeline analysis. Lifeline analysis means analyze your life in the last five years or 10 years. Just sit down with a pen and paper, write each OLQ and analyze what are the qualities, what are the areas where you lack. For example, let us take an example again, initiative. Initiative, officer my quality, you sit down with a pen and paper, analyze your life in the last 5 to 10 years. Now you recall all the things. 
you recall all the things where you have taken initiative for example starting from your fifth class was what was the last time that your teacher asked you that who will do this thing or your sir or your ma'am asked you who will do this thing and you raised your hand and participated and led that group when you came to your 12th class or when you came to your college did you ever initiated in any of the organizing committees it was fest or a farewell party or koi bhi cheez then you came to the corporate world or to where you are working right now in your office your manager comes and tells you we are organizing a, a field trip we are organizing a picnic and ask you who would like to manage it who would like to did you take an initiative these are very simple see we are not looking for officers keep this thing in mind we are not looking for officers we are looking for officer like people that is why these are called officer like qualities all you need to do is just you need to be aware whether you have that inclination towards all these qualities or not this is the third most third most important aspect now first second and third knowing understanding and analyzing all this constitute i would say only 40% of your selection process the rest 60% is projection projection in ssb is same as marketing or advertisement in corporate world koi fark nahi padta how good your product is till the time you are not able to market it people will not buy it let it be apple let it be samsung apple we all know very good quality the best quality phones samsung as compared to apple less both the firms are investing time and money in your in their marketing the difference is apple ko marketing ki kam zarurat hai koi ek naya apple ka phone aata hai 2 mahine pehle 2 saal mein ek phone aata hai 2 mahine pehle ek choti si ad hoti hai apple iphone 7s coming soon uske baad bande apne aap solve karte hain pata lagate hain apple ka naya phone kaisa hai samsung din mein agar 10 ghante advertisement aa rahi hai tv pe usme se 4 ghante samsung ke advertisement hoti hai they will telling you about all kinds of things that they have ye camera wo camera bina camera ke photo everything all stuff they will tell you ठीक है नॉट द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दोनों की क्वालिटी इज डिफरेंट बट मार्केटिंग इज कॉमन जस्ट लाइक दिस इन एस एस बी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू मार्केट योर सेल्फ देर आर सम पीपल हु आर नेचुरली टैलेंटेड पीपल हु हैव दिल क्यूज देव बीन देव डेवलप दिस ऑयल क्यूज दिस देव बीन फॉलोइंग दिस थिंग्स एंड वेन दे गो टू एस एस बी नेचुरली देल गेट देर रिस्पॉन्सिस दे विल गेट रिकमेंडेड दीज आर ओनली वन परसेंट I am not concerned about all those. I am concerned about the rest 99 percent, जो कि SSB के field के Samsung हैं, जिनको qualities हैं but they are not able to project या फिर qualities ही नहीं हैं. So what those people will do? There are two ways to tackle. First of all, you start developing the oil cues. I gave you an example of initiative. Now suppose you took that analysis and you realized. कि इनिशिएटिव मेरे अंदर बहुत ज्यादा नहीं है आई हैव नेवर टेकन इनिशिएटिव मैंने ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं किया लाइफ में विच आई वुड से कि आई एम अ वेरी इनिशिएटिव इनिशिएटिव टेकिंग पर्सन सो विट इज क्लियर दैट यू डोंट हैव इनिशिएटिव न नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज डेवलपिंग द पर्टिकुलर ऑफिसर लाइक क्वालिटी नाउ डेवलपिंग ऑफिसर लाइक क्वालिटी और एनी अदर क्वालिटी इंप्रूविंग योर पर्सनैलिटी या कोई भी नई चीज इफ यू आर नॉट गुड इन कम्युनिकेशन इफ यू आर नॉट गुड इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग इफ यू आर नॉट गुड इन गुड एट पर्टिकुलर थिंग and you want to be good the only way out is start doing that thing you might be afraid you might be confused you might doubt yourself but believe me the only way out is to start doing that particular thing so for, for a person who is afraid of heights the only way to overcome that fear is go and just simply jump so if you want to develop your officer like qualities for example initiative the only way out is start taking initiative initiative taking initiative now it also depends on various things one is your personal initiative what you do at your personal level suppose for it any in your family you have a elder sister she is getting married now start taking initiatives start taking now you buy stuff you start organizing things and everything this is your personal life then there is a professional you are working somewhere you are studying in your college wahan pe some event is going to be organized start taking initiative in that so these are the things how you should develop your officer like qualities now i told you 20% is knowing understanding 20% is your developing 40% 60% is projection so you might work very hard you might start developing qualities changing of personality improvement of personality it takes time 6 months 1 year depending upon the way you are dealing with it but very important factor is you might develop any quality you might have all the officer like qualities but if you are not able to project you will not get recommended that is the most important aspect and that is why people are failing 
they are not able to project themselves in SSB. Now, how to project a particular quality in various tests, I'll be covering in my next video, in my subsequent videos. In this video, my aim was just to let you know that you can go for coaching, good. The best way to prepare for SSB is understanding and analyzing your official life qualities, developing and then learning to project. All right. If you have any doubts, you can simply ask me questions in my comment box. So shoot all your questions. Please don't shoot shit in the comment box. I've cleared everything. Don't ask me unnecessary things. When did you get recommended? How many times did you get recommended? You can ask me all these things personally. Give me a feedback. What all videos you want me to make? What are the things that you particularly want me to clear? Otherwise, I have a set of 30 to 35 videos which I'll be subsequently uploading. All right. Till my next video comes out, all I want from you is to listen to this, watch this video, note it down, make a plan how you will go about it and keep following what I tell you. All right. So my next video will come in the next seven days. Till then, like it, share and subscribe it so that you can get the further updates. Jai Hind.